Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Hand of Fate Season 3. I'm Nye. I'm Mako, and we're still in run. Yeah, we're still rolling. Um, so the past, uh... Well, not the entire time, but a significant portion of, uh, of yesterday after I got home from work, I actually plugged in, uh, the Final Fantasy X remake on my computer and started playing it. Okay. Number one, I was curious about how long it would take, because I really wanted to try that Odin's thing. But also, I wanted to see, I've been hearing reports that the game's a little bit unstable, and I wanted to hear how true that was. Um, so far, stability hasn't been an issue for me, so I don't know, um... I don't really know what it is that people are saying, but I did see that almost everybody was complaining about the game being unstable on a laptop. Which may have something to do with it. <laughs> like, you may not have the graphics card you think you have on that laptop, and I think that might be the problem. But, um, what I did notice, I, I am actually severely pissed off at the game right now. And not because of anything, uh, gameplay related or port related. Okay. Because the game is actually, uh, very well ported. Uh, actually, it seems to look, uh, it actually looks better to me on the PC. I don't know if it actually did get a, a texture update, but for some reason it actually looks, like, better than it did on the, uh, on the, uh, PS3 when I last played it, but um, I was trying to figure out how to get out of the program on my PC because I was actually playing it with an Xbox controller, and they did a lot of work on this. It even has X inputs uh, as uh, your um, icons on screen as opposed to PlayStation inputs, so it actually does say left bumper, A, stuff like that uh, when you're using an Xbox controller, so they, they wanted this to be for PC. But uh, I was trying to figure out how to exit the program because there was no exit program, and I was playing in uh, in uh, full screen borderless, so obviously there was no like close window button. Mm -hmm. And I got a menu that had two things that I am really unhappy about now. I am actually severely pissed off by these. The game has built-in cheat menus. I'm gonna repeat that. The game has built-in cheat menus. Okay. So, if you just go in and press a button, you can turn off random encounters forever. Or turn them on, whatever you like. You can max out all of your sphere grids instantly by pressing a button. You can get 99 of every item in the game just by pressing a button. Hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> That's unusual. So I was sitting there, you know, you guys know that I like to, uh, I like to chase achievements. And I really kind of enjoy having the really rare achievements. So it was my intention to play through the game, and I was going to go kill Penance again, and be like one of the 0.5% of people who have beaten Penance on the PC. Because I was actually really curious. And then I realized that you can just max out your character and just run the game. So something that would take me 80 hours, or whatever it would be, you're going to do instantly. And that really pisses me off, because it just took all the, like, all of the, you know, all the interesting gameplay, all the fun, all of the, you know, stuff that I was about to have to do, you can just instantly do. And I, hmm. I think there was also a button that would, would get you, like, all of the legendary weapons or something like that, so you wouldn't even have to do Lulu's nonsense, and it's like... Okay, this is not okay. There's nothing about this that is okay. So what I don't know, uh, because I wasn't going to test it, I don't know if that disables achievements for you or something like that. I really I hope it does. It. I, you know what? I'm going to look this up. Because this is new to me. Yeah, well, it seems like this is PC only. So. Well, yeah, but. I, I mean, I really hope it does. I'll be honest. I hope it disables. Hey, look, there's my dragon shield. Are you sure Thank you. that's the right approach? Okay, moving on. But yeah, I also learned, and I, I'm, I'm kind of annoyed by this because it makes the Odins a little bit harder than I wish it was. Um, you also, uh, um, there's also no way to skip cutscenes. And I was certain there was a way to skip cutscenes. I could have sworn there was a way to 
to, uh... Evidently not. You cannot skip cutscenes in the game, so you gotta watch everything, and, and those cutscenes add a lot of length to the game. I mean, we're gonna see. I'm still also messing with things and trying to, uh, I'm looking at mechanics right now to just kind of see what's, uh, what's doable. Um, for example, I learned that, uh, very early on you get, uh, haste for, um, for Titus, but it's not until much later that you get haste Ega. But I also haven't messed with the expert sphere grid. So, I, you know, I didn't want to mess with that on this run. I wanted to save that for another time. Hmm. But... Incidentally, it would appear that you do not get locked out of achievements for using the... Yeah, so, you know, anybody can get the achievements. I mean, I, I still imagine that, uh... I still imagine that, uh... Penance is still going to be locked behind a pretty ridiculous wall. Because not everybody knows he exists. Not everybody knows where to get him. Um, so, I'm not, like... Interesting choice. Too worried about it. But mm. it's just something that is altogether irritating. That that, that that exists in the first place. That said, I haven't seen any complaints about it in comments, and I would expect to see that. So, I kind of imagine that because I haven't seen complaints, I it is therefore something that most people haven't seen yet, or that most people don't know about yet. Hmm. Oh, hey, look, there's the king's ring. Neat. That's a ring that's going to stay with us. Roaming ever forward, hunting okay. the truth. So we have food again. It Yay! Wow, this is a floor. Game that merely defeats you. That's a big one. A game in which yeah, this is a floor no that exists. Also completely unfair. That is <sighs> what, unfair. what floor are we on? I refuse uh, should be 22. Manner. Okay, well, I, say, I guess you can, say, you can expect to see big thing. sprawling floors like that now. Still pretty unusual, though. And we're still getting a lot of graphical weirdness, specifically on this map. Because there was also some graphical nonsense when it came to uh, the fire effect on the mage uh, in the last fight. I don't know what's I don't know what's up with that. Hmm. Uh, looks like we're still missing the out. Still missing the dragon uh, hands. Looks like all we're missing there. Hmm. So if we want to be ridiculously powerful dragons, you know, it's coming. Okay, she's dead. Who's left? Ah, it's a mage. Of course it's a mage. Oh no, I think we're dra missing dragon armor too. Because that's not dragon armor. Why don't you fall over? And back up to full health. Alrighty. Where's my blasted foe? There it is. I'm actually literally only going into the shop just to uh, get the food from going into the shop. And we're going to leave now. Because I don't need anything in that shop. Um, I guess we'll go down. Curse treasure. That's not gonna happen. Hey, we got a blessing because I said no. Guardian Angel. Very nice. neat. <laughs> Guardian it's, Angel it's rare, for saying but... no. That's actually uh it's actually a thing. Oh. So make I, I was gonna say a Guardian Angel for saying no is kind of ha ha. <laughs> kind of really good. Um, so, Mako, I'm curious, in your opinion, because I, I've heard a lot of people say stuff about this, and I'm kind of curious what your opinion is. In your opinion, are we overly interested in uh, anniversaries of content as opposed to new content? Uh, context, so, please. Okay, so for example, uh, Kingdom Hearts 1.5 came out in America in celebration of the, I believe, 15-year Kingdom Hearts anniversary. Hmm. Um, what, uh, God, what's some other ones? Uh, Final Fantasy X, I believe, was its 10-year anniversary when it got remade. Um, 
and I'm trying to remember the context of this note that I put on my phone. Um, because there was something I was looking at on the, you know, uh, Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword did a huge, uh, th uh like, it came out on, uh, Zelda's 25th anniversary, they did the, uh, they brought back Super Mario All-Stars for Mario's 25th anniversary, um, like, every time a big anniversary comes around, we do huge things. But it seems that we do more for anniversaries than we do for... Like, we're more focused on an anniversary, a repeat of something. Birthdays, for example. Um, than we do for actual original stuff. You know, the new stuff. Hmm. Which I find moderately curious. Um, I don't really want the Reign of Punishment. I don't really... I don't really want the Reign of Gluttony. We're going to pick up the Mage Mask because technically the game says this is new. So we're just going to get that into our inventory. Just to get it out of the way? Yeah. But it just seems like something. It seems like we're seeing, you know, a lot of remakes as of late. Um, and, you know, like, like the big deal uh, right now, I suppose you could say, is the whole uh, is the whole Call of Duty thing this year. Uh, uh, I don't even know. follow Call of Duty, so... I mean, I haven't been into Call of Duty since, like, Modern Warfare 2. But, kind of the big thing going... I don't have 20 gold. Here, have this instead. Here's 40 gold. Um, you know, the big thing right now is a lot of people are like, man, this new Call of Duty is going to suck, but they're remaking the original Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Man, I want that. You know? So, it's just kind of this weird thing. It's like... You know, it feels like we're a little bit too focused on the remake as opposed to the original game. And, you know, before anybody argues, I understand why people don't want the new Call of Duty. Believe me, I gotcha. I hear about it every day. It's cool. Um, but it's just one of those, like, it's just one of those things. It's like, well, you don't even want a new one. You want the old one. Kind of odd. Um, in addition to that, man, I love this fight. <laughs> We've got a ton of rats in a very small area. Um, you know, but there's also stuff like we don't want... Like, the reason why uh, Call of Duty is not doing well, all, all that well right now, why people are very upset about it, is because for the third year straight, even though people said, you know, we don't want to go to the future, we don't want jetpacks, we don't want its future, we don't want space, Call of Duty said, hey, here's future jetpack space. Whereas uh, Battlefield this year is going back to World War One, they haven't. They, they've intentionally not touched that one for quite some time. Yeah, but no. Keep in mind, for anybody who's going, man, Battlefield listened. Uh, everybody was saying for a very long time we don't want to go to World War. We've been there for a while, so you know, think about that for a second. Well, they need. I think they also needed a sizable change because didn't like Hardline not do so great. The Hardline didn't do so great, but, I mean, also keep in mind that Hardline was also a gigantic departure from the series. You were no longer a soldier, you were a cop. Mm. You know, that's kind of a big difference. That's like if Payday, you suddenly became a cop, like, no, you don't, we're not, that's not where we want to go with this. That would be an interesting, um, even like the Left 4 Dead 2, or like, you know, Left 4 Dead's competitive multiplayer. I suppose you know, so, but... But not it as should a, be a different a, game, you know? Yeah, not as a main, major thing. Speaking of Payday 2, have you heard this, the, 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 the news about about their most recent update? I have not. Uh, it's This is Tuesday, for, for reference. Uh, okay, Thursday. so newer than the one that I actually know. Right. Um, for There is a new update, update 100, coming Thursday. Okay. <clears throat> they bought the rights to their game back from their publisher. Really? So they are making a whole bunch of changes, starting with the fact that, um, you know how they had the fantastically unpopular um, safes and drills thing? Yeah. Safes are now free, or will be free. Like, you can see you still get them, but they're basically bon they're basically random loot boxes. You don't have oh, to Oh, okay, this is something I didn't know. When you said safes and drills, I thought you meant literally, like, the safes and the drills that break all the time. Yes. No, no, no. This is like the... Um, you're, you're talking about a loot thing that I haven't done. Yeah, that's the, about a year oh, I'm gonna, ago. Oh, I'm going to bring this up right now. I'm going to mm -hmm. respond to the comment anyways. Someone asked um, if I could do a run where I got 500 food and then failed the Wheel of the Gods. Because mm -hmm. we had that one run where I got food equals to um, food equals to health. 
uh wheel of the gods does not work that way if you get a huge failure on wheel of the gods um it will do something bad to you no matter what it will find out what's the worst thing it can do to you <laughs> so you can't you know if you want to do something like that like 500 food and then make that something good you have to get huge success mm. huge success is the one that sets big number equal to big number so yeah that's a that's that Anyways, do continue. Okay, so about a year or so ago, they introduced. After saying that they didn't really want to do microtransactions, they did a they did a loot Please box thing. You know, the standard MMO loot box. You get get it randomly right. after game, and you have to either buy or hopefully get a key, which is as if not more rare. Okay. And these would contain little. These would contain like gun skins that did actually have like small stat boosts on them. Oh, okay. And apparently this wasn't their idea, it was the idea of the publisher, but, you know, you you have to march in lockstep with what the boss says. Yeah, I mean, that has been that has been a complaint as of late, uh, I mean, as of late, that's been a complaint for the past couple of years from the video game industry, that a publisher has been doing a lot of this stuff, and it wouldn't surprise me. Anyway, so with the update coming on Thursday, update 100, it is now, it is now, or at least according to them, going to be that you, drills are no longer necessary. You still, the safes still drop, but they're kind of like randomized, randomized bonus loot. You get the safe; it will contain one of a ran couple random skins. Like the skin system's still there. It's just you're not putting any money into the system. It's just extra bonus, fun times. See, one day, uh, see, I got out of. Um payday and mostly it was just because of all of the dlc that was coming out it was really hard for me to keep up i spent a lot of money on it and half of it i didn't even like in the first place like i bought the wild western pack but i only bought it for the bow because i like to stealth get stealth levels hmm. so i'm never going to use the dynamite i'm never going to use the shotgun stuff like that um and then also the dlc typically comes out with one really good item and you know like seven really shitty items hmm. so um i kind of got out of it and then also they had a couple of um they had a couple of, uh, like, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, balance tweaks that they did. Like, I think the last thing they did that I that I avoided, they had some sort of really big, um, like, level up system that they changed. Oh, they changed how infamy works. I guess is is probably the one you're thinking of. I don't know if it was infamy because I wasn't. I've like I've only done one infamous redo. And I actually regretted it. Um. Well, they did change how that works. Uh, speaking of which, one of the other things they're working on, I don't know if it actually comes with the 100 update or not, because I haven't looked too far into it, because I haven't been playing that much. Um, they have actually been working on a complete rework of the skill system. Like a new, a new set of skill trees. Yeah, another one. I like my skill trees. Leave my skill trees the fuck alone. Oh no no no! These are these are these are almost universally good. Like everyone I've looked at has been has has has. They've rolled some skills into others that just sort of like everybody took them. So they decided to just roll those into stuff that you know people take anyway. I mean, it would be a little bit hard for me to really enjoy that because I specifically set my skills up to be a stealth player and the game does not reward stealth players most of the time. Well, so that's... unless these skills have taken all the stealth skills that I like and put them together, which I really doubt, um, it's probably going to harm me more than it's going to help me. Yeah, there's a few neat stuff in there that looks good. I've got a friend who plays almost entirely stealth and he's fairly stoked. I'm 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 Lord Shooty Von Murder Dude, and that's just the way I like to play. Well, d didn't they? I I, remember, I forget. Didn't they nerf the grinder deck at some point? Yes, they 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 nerfed the grinder deck. Um, there is another uh, stealth only map you might want to give a try to, since you and it since it last came out. I'm pretty sure it's also one of the free ones too. I mean, I might. One thing I wanted to do for the channel one day, because for a while I was super into Payday was I wanted to go with someone and actually, like, show all of the maps and do ev all the stealths we could. Mm. The problem is I haven't stealthed all of them, so that's not, like, something I can necessarily promise I can do. But I love, you know, I love stealthing stuff, and I wouldn't mind putting hours into the game. Um, you know, you it would, might be interesting to see, but I'm not sure. It would require editing on your part, I'm almost certain. Probably. Or it would just require, like, resetting the, uh, the, um, okay, this is gonna be a thing. 
It would require resetting the video after every fail. But, um, looks like we're about to lose Mako for a second. Okay, so we, uh... So things happening here. I uh, hate my connection sometimes. Yeah, I'll get you back in when I can, but I'm fighting the, uh... <laughs> I'm fighting I the saw. Queen of Dust. I'm fighting... Oh, did you see that it added a new card afterwards? No. What did it do? So, I'm fighting three Lava Golems, the Queen of Dust, the King of uh, Bones. Okay, yeah, I saw that. Okay. Um... Yeah, what, I mean, I, all I would do to uh, for editing is I would just reset the recording uh, if we had to restart the map. Huh. But the problem is I don't like I don't necessarily know. How, for example, um, what 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 what's the the, the, the music hall one? Um, the uh, Alaria or whatever it is. Oh, you know the Alesso Heist. Alesso Heist. I've never successfully stealthed that because that um, that that it's it's a well keep in mind I wouldn't want to stealth it on just normal I'd want to stealth it on either like death wish or the level below death wish so uh, yeah. and that that mission becomes such a pain in the ass on those difficulties for obvious reasons I was going to say it's designed that way yeah that's sort of but for example game. like bank heist you can put me on any bank heist bank heist gold deposit whatever I can solo that on death wish so it depends on the actual mission in question, how good I can play. But um, yeah, I would love to do that, especially if they don't change too much, because I already have a damn good stealth system. But I'd have to level up again, because I did go infamous, so I lost all of my stuff. Right. Well, they 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 changed sort of a little bit of what, like as I understand it, the way they've done is they've rolled some skills into others. They've they've reduced the number of skill points that are going around. Like, there's less skill points, but there's also less skill skills to spend on because they've done the rework. I'm not sure how I feel about that. I mean, th that is... As good as that sounds on paper, That what that actually means is less choice for the player, and you should never take choice away from the player. Even if, it, even if it's the same, like, amount of skills and the same amount of points comparatively, if the ratio is still the same, but you reduced the number, I think it's still probably a bad thing. More health to work. Mm. There's exceptions, but just, you know, taking away options for the player Set to away. choose, I feel is typically universally it's bad. less taking away and more sort of shuffling. It's really hard to explain because I don't have it in front of me, and they're still, be and as of the right now at least, they're still beta testing. Mm. So, well, well, I mean, we'll see. It's, you know, we'll see. But it, by and large, they look reasonably good. I like what I've been seeing. I mean, I haven't played any uh, Payday 2 in probably, like, six months, at least. Well, like, Maybe longer than that. There's also a handful of, like, newer skills. Like, you, did you ever see the uh, the Fugitive? You know, you know the Fugitive and his and his uh, med bag stuff? Uh, no, yeah, the, he's, he's broke with bullshit. Right. He's one of why the, Grindr got broken. One of the new skills that you can get is basically put down these uh, these medical these medical bottles, and if there is one nearby when you go down, you you can grab it and put, your, put, put, put yourself back up. Nice. That but, the reason why I liked Grinder, and the reason why most of us liked Grinder, is that it allowed you to go to go quiet, and if you failed, you still had a chance on loud. Mm -hmm. So that gets taken away, and it's just kind of like the thing was grinder still required you. You had to be, you had to be skilled, you had to get them headshots, you had to kill really, really fast. So you know, having that removed kind of sucks because it's like this was something that rewarded good play, and you know it's taken out. And I understand it was unbalanced, but it's just like <laughs> you can leave this one be. <laughs> we don't, you, we don't have to do this. Uh, we're going to pick the mage gloves for the same reason I pick up the mage mask. Uh, we're still... I think we have the majority of our... Um, I think we have the majority of our tokens already, so I'm not too worried about anything at this point. Let's just see what you can get away with as usual. Pretty much. Okay, we'll just... I guess we'll be over here. Oh, look, it's an angry mob. Here, have half my food. And I get a free blessing. Many of these blessings are too over here. for the likes of you. Okay, traveling jeweler, ghost of the sea. Uh, we're gonna turn around mostly just to go to the ghost of the sea. 
She is being good to us, especially since we're no longer on hard. Mm -hmm. So she actually gives me things? Uh, traveling tinker. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Traveling jeweler. Sorry. Yes, 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 yes. Blah, 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 blah. Stuff, stuff, stuff. I, I really, when it comes to the whole, the whole anniversaries thing, you know, I kind of... Part of me kind of goes, we celebrate the anniversary too much. But I'm one of those people who did buy the Ration Clank anniversary pack, and, you know, I did get Kingdom Hearts and stuff like that. And, like, it's, it's a cool, like, nostalgia thing, but the problem is, that, that's the issue. It's too much of a nostalgia trip, because we do it all the time now. Hmm. So it's just like one of those... You know, it, it, it's it's the same thing like the remakes of movies over and over and over. Like it's it's almost a fear of being original now, of what would come from it. So it's just it's a kind of it's kind of a weird thing. I just I'm I get where you're going for I I have no strong feelings one way or the other on this one. If it gives me some nice new stuff, I will pay attention to it, but. I, my money tends to be spoken for ahead of time at this point anyway. So yeah, like well, I, I it, am... for me, it's it's not even it's not even a money thing because if I really want it, I'll put the money together. So like Final Fantasy fourteen. Uh, what's happening this time? What's she doing? Uh, she got rid of my curses again. Yay! Especially this far down. Uh, I actually had like four curses right now because she did that so recently. So um. No, like even with like the Final Fantasy X thing, it's you know, I bought it again. This is actually the you have no many, I no idea how many of this game I have bought for various reasons. At least three copies now. At least three copies now, but it's probably closer to seven with how uh, many of the uh, PS2 versions failed on me. Oh wow, okay. Yeah, I, I, I'm pretty sure I told you this story. Um, I took half my food. You de you dick. Um, I'm, I was, I'm pretty sure I told you this story, um, that, um, oh, did they get rid of my sword? Those bitches! At some point, I lost my dragon sword. Hmm. I don't know what did that. I must have missed that. Son of a bitch. Um, yeah, uh. Something, some scratch happened in a really weird place on my copy of Final Fantasy, and it happened multiple times. This was not an isolated incident. Um, but some some glitch happened, and the sum total of this was that any time I tried to use any special skill, so like any um, any uh, overdrive, any uh, let's see, what any overdrive, any spell, any special uh, skill, any uh, anything like that the game would go into an infinite loop of whatever that skill was. So the problem is, one of the first things you have to do in the game, once you get, uh, once you get into, uh, Spira, is you have to have, uh, Riku use steel. It's actually a required thing that you have to do at least once. Oh, sorry, not, not use steel, she has to use use, where she throws a grenade, uh, and it's a required skill you have to use. And so the game would go into infinite loop. And, uh, I... So this happened late game. I was fighting Unaleska. I had not even beaten Unaleska yet, and this happened. So I thought, okay, I must be glitched out. Stop playing. Put the disc away. And eventually deleted my Final Fantasy X save file, because I thought I'd never play the game again. Bought a new copy of Final Fantasy X, not remembering that I deleted my save file. Had to start again. Got pissed. And the funny thing is, this glitch happened a second time. Ooh. So I had to do it again. So complete pain in the ass. So I and I've this happened. This might have been happened a third time too. I can't remember. So I've bought multiple copies of ten over the years. So the you know the thing is, it's this is the game Final Fantasy X. I have probably bought this multiple times because it's you know a, a game I want to play again, something like that. I mean at this point because it's on PC because it's through Steam. As long as Steam doesn't go under anytime soon, I'm never going to lose this copy again. <laughs> but, you know, it's just that... It's that thing, right? Okay. Uh, 
I really want to get a success on this. I really want to get a success on this. I don't want to do this event. Success, success, wonderful. Woohoo, I got one gold. Make that two gold. <coughs> hey, look, it's just a free treasure chest just sitting here doing nothing. I mean, there's, there is very little that this treasure chest could have in it that I'd actually care about at this point. But we'll see. One gold. Seven gold. Draw four, discard to put it back on top. Uh, those can stay on top because the dragon claws are there. And one gold. See? Very little I would care about. And there's a call for the priest. Let's go say hi. Uh, we have no curses. But he might have blessings. Oh, we do have curses. Never mind. We got specifically this one. Tainted. Okay, uh, we're gonna go ahead and sell... We're gonna sell the mage gloves. Sell the mage's mask. Uh, sell the chain bomb. Sell the eye of the storm. Sell the shield. Um, he does, but I can't afford them. Hmm. Well, I'll pick up arcane knowledge for the sake of having it. The gods look upon it's not gonna matter, but it's gonna give me plus five max health. Woo! Uh, more importantly, it's a, another blessing that I can't get from another source. Hey, look, there's the maiden. Sup? Give me food. I need it. I need the food. Holy patronage. Hi. Um, I really wish I had 50 gold right now. And the sea voyage. Nothing more uh, apparently I lost my ring of hindsight at some point. Of rush of hmm. Oh, hey, look, it's... <laughs> Damn it. And I don't have an easy button to kill them anymore. I actually have to take them out individually now. Let's get out of the way. I liked my dragon sword. It allowed me to kill large groups very quickly, and I don't have that anymore because you guys took it from me. You dicks. Oh, also, did you see the uh, comment on the video about the loss of the Kraken's Claw in that one episode? Uh, no, I did not. So you remember how I said I was sure I switched weapons and then I lost the Kraken's Claw when I gave up my weapon? Right. So if you go back, someone someone looked and someone pointed out, if you go back, I did switch weapons to the Battle Hammer and the game specifically put the Kraken's Claw back in equipment. Like, huh. you see the movement start where the Kraken's Claw is supposed to go into my inventory? And just as the Kraken's Claw starts moving, um, it immediately switches to Battle Hammer. Hmm. Which, it's, it's complete and total bullshit. But it's hilarious to look at. Man, shit's just falling through the floor today. Look, half the bodies are gone. They fell through the floor. I wish I could see that. Oh, right. That's a thing that I should fix at some point, huh? <laughs> we'll get there. Hold on. Okay, guys, well, this is going to be it for us. i got to get Mako back into the call so Mako can actually see what's going on because next episode may be the last episode of the run considering that we're uh, approaching uh, level 30. Um, so we will see you guys next time. See you soon.